already an amazing night. It's gonna be good. That's all I know. I like watching both these players play. Like literally, on, like on last Sunday, just ha just having like one of the, my favorite sets, like in Ultimate, probably him playing Tweak. That Wario Ditto was nutty. Go back and watch that if you haven't watched that. I, I lost cool. my mind at several points during that set. Yeah. I think the entire audience was with me. That, that last minute or so, I don't even know how the heck Tweak survived that dash attack at like 150, 160 from across the state. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how Gloomy just like teched that full full charge waft on, like on the stage at like 60 or so. Like, what the heck? How does this happen? Oh well. It was nuts. Yeah, now you're against the Gloomy vs. Locust though. And there's Warriors and Warriors stuff. Yep, 64 already. <laughs> That'll do it. It's just a Wario thing right there. Trades with a crack shoot too. Oh, the bike oh, the going right through the bike though. It's nice. Jab, jab, power dunk once again. You cannot cross up Terry there. He will auto turn around on you in an instant. Oh, and go back! The upper reach of the Power Geyser, too. Oh, low percent combo is just Terry in this case. Very scary. He was trying to, he was trying to catch the uh, extension off the bike there as well, too, with the Power Geyser. Into the command grab. Oh, that's Ford, that's Ford, Ford tilt, though. This big slap. That's just the front hand right there from Wario. I even want to see the backhand. One up air, but one up air isn't going to land after the up tilt did. I'm going to bike bomb this there. We'll see those two off him. Oh, no, he Almost actually got missed that it. A little bit off, a little bit to the left. Looks like that's some good DI the there, I, I assume. And that's one of the first waft conversions all day that we've seen Pluto miss. He's just usually so on point with those. It's one of the best warriors in the world for a reason, after all. Oh, that power geyser, though, taken out of there. Anti air. Look at something up on Gumby. And I feel like the combo into the Buster Wolf after the Power Geyser kill was starting to get a bit predictable, but, you know, he, it's been working out for him. Who am I to question it? Exactly. We have to be a bit careful here, though, because, um, oh, I thought he was going for Buster Wolf. I was just saying, as soon as he gets the jab jab, though, you go for Buster Wolf to get a lot of damage. This is what I was here and all that. There is the back there, but perfectly spaced. Glutiny is going to be safe even after back here will do it though. Kyle's going to look straight up. Up air. And up air. He might he does not have a full, like a, he has about a half charge waft right about right now. So like he can't really like do any waft from anything right now. So he's got to get this get very cleanly. Like, not that. That is a waft. Excuse me. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the drill waft. I guess he just got that in that case. That was kind of earlier too. <laughs> oh well. Blue takes game one though, it's that clutch down there to wafts. That confirm only works if you have a uh, rage in this game, as far as I'm aware. That was really nice. Yeah, Blutney, I don't think he was ahead at any point in that game until the very end there. Yeah, that's good. Game two is gonna prompt a change in the game plan from Locus as well as a change in the floor plan as we head into final destination. In this case, Warrior can't like extend any of his uh, up air combos or any of the air combos off, off any platform in FD, so you can't forget to Locus here. But so far it's working out in Glutiny's favor though. Yeah, Glutiny's just smothering Locus right now, not biting on any of these crack shoots or combo starters, finally able to get a jab jab power dunk, but really able to get 85% and still with the bike, waits out the power dunk too with the F-Till. Very, very nice recovery there from Logan. Get, getting around all of the shenanigans. Have to hold his breath, and after he fell out of that, oh, chase him off the that bike. 
Getting that up air, taking the stock. Really nice there from Gluten Dave. Quick clap from Pluto as he already has half waft available should he want to go for it. Just keeps laying on his fingertips. That time just occupied with getting rid of the bike and that allowed Locus to get at least something, but the landing up air into Waft. Gluttony's up three stocks to one in I'll a do. flash. I'll do if you just do nothing after a word up like up airs like that, that'll just happen. Let's get a, take another up air and more up airs. Looks like to find some answer quick because he's falling way the heck behind right now. That's not it. That was a very risky option. Back throw as he goes. Oh, still not enough though. Couldn't give me up to the top at all. Charges up the up snatch. A bit ambitious, but able to get the spot dodge after. Wouldn't he have knocked on his, like, I don't think at all by any power ducks. I feel like he's SDIing out of it every single time, just Completes successfully. Completes the three stock with the F tilt though, and just expends the waft for good measure. I'm not sure if it's Locus getting unlucky if like, it's placed on the Paradox, or he's just SDIing away from it to get out of the time. I feel like it might be the latter. Because this happened consistently, his whole set. Whatever the case, I mean, he's just been falling victim, and Locus is going to be forced to switch characters to the Ridley. Let's see if this works out better for him. I feel like Ridley can definitely get Wari off stage a lot more easily. Uh-huh. Keep him there, but we'll see, I guess. Has range, but with Ridley not really having any out of shield options until frame 10 or 11, a lot of things are gonna poke from Gluttony, and he'll be able to get some juggle started on throws a lot easier than he would on Terry. That being said though, Ridley is combo food. Let's see if he's taking four up airs from there. Ridley being kind of pseudo heavy. He's, he's, he's heavier than some, than a lot of characters, but lighter than some. Though he's like also a huge body as well too, so. Very susceptible to getting combo, combo a lot to say at least. Going deep and nearly getting with the space pirate rush, but he'll up air through the stage instead. And meets him halfway on top of the platform. Continuing this rampage through Locus. Locus can just get away from his up air, or his up tilts. He gets laying right on top of him. Up tilt to up air though. He's got some conversion with him, but it's really good. Ah, oh, I didn't know grab the bike there though. Land just the wrong part. Close it up though. They're just gonna get him with the up air. Catches, catch him trying to land there with the up air, getting the sweet spot of it and taking that stock. Super nice there from Logos. That's a re-grab. This will be a re-grab. Ah, oh, just barely missed space there. What a missed opportunity for Gluttony. It's also pretty, it's also pretty hard trying to like punish like a Ridley re-grab just because his upbeat is so gigantic. And it's just it's a gigantic hitbox, really. Like, he's about to re-grab right here again, but... Yeah, his hitbox does yeah. dangle from the ledge a little bit when he tries to recover, so... Still has that to work with. But here's an opening right here for for, for Locus. We have to set neutral again. Dash attack, he'll be living. Still living. Yeah, Locus is pretty comfortable with that ledge on a ledge, it seems. It's gonna be time to be grabbed for sure. Gluttony dash dancing back and forth looking for the opening. It's Locus who finds the back air first. Goes oh. deep for the down air too. Catching him on that on, on that recovery. Locus down his last stock in the sense. Gluttony's got full off right now. He hasn't used it at all in this game. Certainly hunting for it. Uh, I think he's going to go for it right here. Oh, oh no. Well, that'll do it as well. What's this happened? And that, uh, I, I don't know if that, he grabbed him right there. What the heck? I, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but Locus went for the Space Pirate rush off stage to 